And welcome to another online service. Um, we ask you to join us as we praise and worship our Lord this morning. So let's give our praise and worship to the Lord.
of God I am a friend of God He calls me friend I am a friend of God I am a friend of God I am a friend of God He calls me friend
creation. God of creation, there at the start, for the beginning of time. No point of reference, he spoke to the dark, fleshed out the wonder of light. As you speak, a hundred billion galaxies are born, in the vapor of your breath the planets form, if the stars are made to worship so alive, I just see your heart and everything you Star, a signal fire of grace. If creation sings your praise, is so alive. God of your promise. Don't speak in vain, the syllable empty your voice. For once you have spoken, nature and science follow the sound of your Billion creatures catch your breath, evolving in pursuit of what you said. If it all reveals the nature so alive, you see your heart in everything you say, every painted sky. Canvas of your grace. If creation still obeys you, so blind. So
God of salvation. God of salvation, chasing my heart, all of my failure and pride. On a hill you created, the light of the world, abandoned in darkness to die. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat and uh, this morning we will be continuing on our series entitled Life Lessons, no? The Stories of Jesus According to Luke. No, ito po yung mga kwento or yung mga parables no na ibinibigay ni Jesus, no? Uh, na ayon dun sa ano, ayon dun sa account no ni 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 Lucas. Okay? So ang pag-uusapan natin this morning or the, our, our topic for this morning is about the good neighbor and we will see this in Luke 10 verse 25 to 37. Now, let me just give you no, let me just give you a short background, no? Um ano po ba ano ba bakit ba napag-usapan nito? Bakit ba ikwento ng ating Panginoong Hesus itong uh, story na ito, no? And our story for this morning, no, is something that is familiar, no? Uh, familiar to most of us, no? And this is a story of the good neighbor or the good samaritan no sa karamihan sa atin no ang uh, alam natin itong itong kwento na to the story of the good samaritan okay now let me start with why no uh, with why jesus no told this story of the good neighbor no basahin po natin no tingnan natin sa Luke 10 verse 25 to 29 no at ang sabi po doon on one occasion no an expert of the law stood uh, stood up no to test jesus no, and then he said, Teacher, he asked, What must I do to inherit eternal life? No, parang pamilyar din tong question na to, no? Tinanong din ito nung rich young ruler or nung rich young man kay Jesus. No? And then, uh, sabi dito, no? What is written in the law? He replied. How do you read it? No, and he answered, Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength, and with all your mind. And love yourself, uh, and love your neighbor as yourself. You have answered correctly, Jesus replied. Do this and you will live. But he wanted to justify himself, so he asked, And who is my neighbor? No, sino daw ba yung kanyang, uh, yung kanyang kapitbahay or yung kanyang kapwa? Now, sinasabi dito, no, there was this expert of the law. No, religious law ang pinag-uusapan natin dito. He is a lawyer. No, and he asked Jesus, no, uh, yung pagkakatanong niya kay Jesus, hindi ito tanong na, 
ano hindi ito honest to goodness question no it was a a, a question no to test Jesus gusto niyang subukan kung merong sasabihin si Jesus na pagkakamali o na, na mali no na gusto nilang mahuli siya so he asked him to test him no and he asked what must i do uh, to have eternal life Now of course Jesus knowing the intent of this man no at kung ano yung nasa kanyang puso at nasa kanyang isipan no and he knows no Jesus knows that he is a lawyer and that he knows the law no alam niya kung ano yung nasa batas no and uh, so Jesus asked him back no tinanong siya ni Jesus no what does the law say and how do you understand it no yun yung tanong ni Jesus sa kanya di ba ano ba sinasabi sa batas Diba kasi alam niya na lawyer itong lalaking ito. No, sabi niya ano bang sinasabi sa batas? So sumagot itong lawyer. No, he answered back. And then he said, "Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength and with all your mind." No, and then love your neighbor as yourself. No, to which Jesus answered, "You are right. Tama ka." Diba? Alam mo naman pala parang ganun yung sinasabi ni Jesus. Now, ang sabi ni Jesus ito, "Then do this." Sabi niya, "Do this and you will have eternal life." Diba sabi niya, gawin mo. ba diba? Parang sinasabi ni Jesus, yan na lang ang kulang. Gawin mo na lang. No? no? It's not enough. No? It is not enough to know the law. No? But you need to be able to follow and obey the law. Parang ganyan yung sinasabi ni Jesus nung sinabi niya sa kanya, do this and you will have eternal life. But the lawyer, no, of course, still wanting to test Jesus and probably find fault, no, ask him again, who is my neighbor? Sabi niya, eh sino ba yung aking ano? Sino ba yung aking kapwa tao? Sino ba yung aking kapitbahay? Now with this with this question, no, eto na. Sumagot na si Jesus, no, ng isang kwento. No, kwento yung sagot ni Jesus sa kanya or the parable, isang parable, no? And this uh, with this question, this is, Jesus told the story, no? Uh, and of course, Jesus loves telling telling stories, no, or parables, no, to drive a point, no, para ipakita at ipaintindi sa kanila. No, yung yung gusto niyang sabihin or ipaintindi doon sa mga gustong umintindi, no? Pero no, hindi para doon sa mga ayaw umintindi. Okay, so Jesus loves telling parables. So in his infinite wisdom, he told the story of the good neighbor or the good Samaritan, no? And uh, sabi po dito, no, ituloy natin yung verses na yon, no, from verse 30 to verse 37. And sabi doon, ito yung kwento ng good Samaritan. No, in reply, Jesus said, A man was going uh, going down from Jerusalem to Jericho. No, when he fell into the into the hands of robbers, they stripped him of his clothes, beat him, and went away, leaving him half dead. No, a priest happened to be going down the same road, and when he saw the man, he passed on by the other side. No, lumipat siya doon sa ibang kalsada para hindi niya madaanan itong lalaking ito. So too, a Levite, when he came to that place and saw him, no, nakita siya, No, passed on the other side as well. No, lumipat din sa ibang daan din sa dumaan. No, ayaw niyang madaanan nitong lalaking ito. No, they didn't want to be responsible for him. No, but a Samaritan as he traveled, no, came where the man was. And when he saw him, no, when he saw him, ito 'yung nangyari. He took pity on him. Naawa siya dun sa ano. No, naawa siya dun sa lalaki na 'yon, dun sa Jew. No? And he went to him, bandaged his wounds, pouring oil and wine. Then he put the man on his own donkey, brought him to an inn, and took care of him. No, inalagaan siya. The next day, no, umabot pa ng isang araw. No, the next day he took out two denarii, no, and gave them to the innkeeper. No, do sa nagbabantay don sa inn. No, sabi niya, look after him. He said, and when I return, I will reimburse you for any extra expense that you may have. Uh, which of these three, no, then Jesus said, no, ito na yung sinabi ng ating Panginoong Yesus, which of these three do you think was a neighbor to the man who fell into the hands of, robber, of the robbers? And the expert of the law replied, the one who had mercy on him. And then Jesus told him, go and do likewise. Sabi niya, go and do likewise. Tayo po yung manalangin. Hallelujah. Father, we praise you and thank you and glorify you, Lord. Maraming salamat, Panginoon, sa salitang ito na ibinigay niyo po sa amin, Lord God. Help us to understand, Lord God, this story, Lord God, this parable that Jesus is saying. Lord, open our eyes, our minds, our hearts, Lord God, and help us, Lord God, to do, Lord God, what Jesus wants us to do, Lord God, when He commanded, go and do likewise. 
Tulungan niyo po kami, Panginoon. Help us to understand these words, Lord God. Help us to learn and know the truth, Panginoon, na, 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 na nandi dito sa, sa kwentong ito na ibinigay ng aming Panginoong Yesus. Lord, maraming salamat, Lord God. We praise you and glorify you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, Lord, and amen. Okay, so many times, Jesus would tell stories or parables to drive a point or to share a truth no, to those who are willing to hear. No, ito yung ano eh, ito yung ito yung purpose ng ating Panginoong Hesus. No, sa pagkukuwento niya, no, ng mga parables, no, sa pag uh, pag-share niya ng mga parables. It is actually for people who wants to hear, who wants to know the truth. Para doon sa mga may gustong malaman kung ano yung katotohanan and they are able to understand this. No? Pinapaintindi ni Jesus sa mga sa mga na, sa mga gustong malaman ng katotohanan. Ngunit, no, para doon sa mga no, doon sa mga ayaw ng katotohanan, no, ayaw makinig or maintindihan ng katotohanan, no, they are being blinded. No, hindi, no, hindi nila maintindihan itong mga kwentong ito. And Jesus loves telling these stories, no? He loves telling these stories, no, na para ma, ma, ma ano, ma Uh, mag-drive siya ng para mapaintindi sa mga tao. Okay? So yung mga iba, no, yung mga iba tuwa sila kasi naiintindihan nila at no, they, they 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 understand the truth, no? Nalalaman nila yung katotohanan. Pero yung iba naman, no, kagaya ng mga Pharisees, yung mga Sadducees, no, uh, nagagalit sila, no? They get mad, no? Kasi sila yung tinatamaan minsan, no? And they refuse to accept it, no? Ayaw nilang tanggapin. So in today's passage, there are several truths, no, that we can learn, no. Meron tayong no mga maiintima ma, makikitang mga katotohanan, no, dito sa uh, sa kwentong ito na kailangan nating maintindihan at malaman, no. And it is my prayer that God will open our hearts and our minds, no, to accept, no, this message today. Now there are three truths from this story. that we need to know no tatlong uh, tatlong katotohanan no ang gusto kong pag-usapan sa uh, sa umagang ito no base dito sa kwentong ito okay the first no the first truth that that we need to understand no is in verses 30 to 32 no so babasahin ko ulit ano ba yung verses 30 to 32 no in reply Jesus said a man was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho when when he fell into the hands of robbers They stripped him of his clothes, beat him, and went away, leaving him half dead. A priest happened to be going the same road, and when he saw the man, he passed on the other side. So to a Levite, when he came to the place and saw him, passed on the other side too. Okay, so yun yun ang yare, no? Na um, no, uh, may isang may isang hudyo, no? There was this man, no? He was a Jew traveling from Jerusalem, going to Jericho, no? Hinarang sa na mga ano? Hinarang sa na mga magdanakaw. Okay? Uh, they stripped him of his clothes, binugbog pa siya, no? Tinanggal yung mga da- kinuha yung damit niya, no? Kinuha yung mga ari-ariyan niya, binugbog siya, no? And leave and left him half dead, no? Halos mamatay na siya, no? Nakita siya ng isang pare na dumadaan doon, no? Pero nung nakita siya, dumaan siya sa ibang ibang daan, no? Ganun din yung isang Levite. Dumaan din siya, nakita din siya, dumaan din sa ibang daanan. Okay? So ano ba yung katotohanan na makikita natin dito? No? The first truth that I want to talk about is the sin of doing nothing. The sin of doing nothing. ba? Diba? Ang kasalanan sa pamamagitan ng paggawa ng wala. No? Yung, yung pag wala kang ginawa. No? May kasalanan din po yun. Now, although this is not the main point of the story, no? this is not the main point. I would like to point this out. No? This is not the main point of the story. But I would like to point this truth out Because as Christians, no, many of us fall into this sin, no, that oftentimes disqualifies us from being a good neighbor to others. Di ba? Kadalasan kasi, di ba, bilang mga Kristiyano, nagagawa natin ito, no? And no, uh, nadi-disqualify tayo, no, do sa pagiging mabuting, no, kapitbahay or mabuting kapwa, no, sa ibang mga tao. Now, Jesus would often use religious leaders no kung mapapansin niyo no ang daming mga mga kwento nito ng ating Panginoong Hesus na ginagamit niya religious leaders no uh, of his time no during during his time no as an example of this very basic act of human decency diba it's a very basic act of human decency 
Now in 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 John 9:41, no, Jesus called out the Pharisees and said, no, ito yung sa mga Pharisees. Sabi niya to sa mga Pharisees, if you were blind, no, kung bulag kayo, no, if you were blind, you would have no sin, no, hindi kayo magkakasala. But now you say, we see. Diba? Pero kayo mismo, ang umaamin na nakakakita kayo, therefore, sabi ni ating Panginoong Yesus, therefore, your sin remains. No? This was after the Pharisees were saying that Jesus is a sinner because He sealed the man no, on the Sabbath. No, Sabbath day kasi noon, no, mahigpit na pinagbabawal ng mga, ng mga Jewish leaders, ng mga Pharisees, ng mga Sadducees, no, mahigpit nilang pinagbabawal ang kahit na anong uri ng pagtatrabaho, no, during the sabbath and that includes healing no and that includes healing and Jesus was no no was not very pleased about this no and he would actually diba uh, go against no itong mga itong mga maling katuroan na ito no and Jesus would would tell them that sabbath is for the people sinasabi niya sa mga ta, sa mga sa mga Pharisees para sa mga tao yan pag meron bang nangangailangan no and and it's it's sabbath ibig sabihin ba hindi mo sila tutulungan No, parang ganun yung sinasabi ni ng ating Panginoong Hesus doon sa mga ano, doon sa mga religious leaders. No, and that is why Jesus would would often times, no, use no yung mga religious leaders sa kanyang mga parables, no? And even in this parable, no, Jesus used religious men, no, as an example for this sin. Okay? And what is this sin? No, ano ba tong kasalanan na to? As I have mentioned, it is the sin of doing nothing. No? Ito yung kasalanan sa paggawa ng, ng ng dapat mong gawin pero hindi mo ginagawa. No, in James 4:17 it says there. So then, if you know the good you ought to do, no, if you know the good you ought to do and don't do it, then you sin. 'Di ba? Kung alam mo daw kung ano yung mabuti na dapat mong gawin, no? Na dapat mong gawin, tapos hindi mo ito ginagawa, no, at hindi mo ginawa, 'di ba? Nagkakasala ka. Now in this story both the priest and the levite saw this man no bleeding lying on the ground half dead and yet after they saw him turned away and passed another way to avoid him diba yung yung priest at saka yung, yung yung levite they both saw him nakita nila nandoon duguan hubad no yung tao no obviously he needed help no he needed help no they saw the need they knew something had to be done no The least they could have done, no, is call for help, no. Sana man lang tumawag sila ng tulong kung hindi nila talaga alam kung anong gagawin, 'di ba? Sana man lang tumawag sila ng ng kung sino man yung makakatulong. But no, they did, did they did not do such any uh, um such thing, 'di ba? Ang ginawa nila, iniwasan nila, 'di ba? They turned the blind eye, no, and walked no the other way, no. Iniwanan nila, no. Hinayaan nila doon yung taong nangangailangan. They knew this person needed help and yet they did nothing. And James said, this is a sin. No, kasalanan 'yun. No, kasalanan 'yun. And this is the truth. No? This is the truth. This is the truth. We say, no, sa minsan sinasabi natin, but I did nothing. Wala naman akong ginawa eh, 'di ba? And that is exactly our sin. 'Di ba? 'Yun minsan yung nagiging kasalanan natin. Wala tayong ginagawa. Nakikita na natin yung kailangan nating gawin, no? We know no what what the good that we need to do no but we do not do it. 'Di ba? Hindi natin ginagawa. Nakikita na natin yung pangangailangan ng tao, 'di ba? And God provides us no with 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 resources to help these people. No, and yet we do nothing. No? Then we sin. No, nagkakasala tayo. No, kasi hindi natin ginagawa yung dapat nating gawin. Diba? Hindi porket wala tayong ginawa, 'di ba? Absuelto na tayo sa kasalanan, hindi. 'Di ba? Pag hindi natin ginawa, alam natin ang tama at hindi natin ito ginawa, 'di ba? Alam nakita na natin kung ano yung dapat nating gawin, then no, nagkakasala tayo. How many times have we seen a beggar in the streets hungry? And we say or think, 'di ba? Minsan sinasabi natin or iniisip natin, nakakaawa naman sila. 'Di ba? nakakaawa naman sila and yet we do nothing, 'di ba? And yet we do nothing, no? Minsan kung wala man tayong pagkain, no, pwede naman tayong bumili, 'di ba? Or give them something that would help them. 'Di ba? Hindi sapat na isipin lang natin nakakaawa naman sila. 'Di ba? That would not do anything to help them and even the Bible says that. 
'di ba? Kahit sabihin natin sa nakakaawa naman sila. Walang mangyayari, no? Sa pag-iisip natin na 'yan or sa pagsasabi natin 'yan, we need to do something. 'Di ba? We need to do something. How many times have we seen somebody sick and needing help and yet we do nothing? We can at least get some help or offer to buy no some medicine or help get them checked if we can afford it, 'di ba? Marami tayong mga bagay na pwede nating gawin, 'di ba? And yet, 'di ba, many times we do not do it. 'Di ba? Wala tayong ginagawa. How many times have you suspected somebody feeling very down, no or even depressed and not even No, and not even try to approach them, to talk to them, or somehow comfort them, or maybe even just listen, no? Just listen to them, no? Ano ba yung, di ba? Ano ba yung nasa lu- sa, sa luubi nila? Di ba? Just to, just to, to be with them, di ba? Matulungan man lang sila kahit papano, di ba? At least your presence is there. Maybe we have neglected the seemingly small acts of kindness to others, but it's it is not too late, di ba? Hindi pa huli ang lahat. Diba? Yes, no, nagagawa natin to, nagkakasala tayo pag hindi natin ginagawa yung mga bagay na dapat natin gawin, na nakikita natin, di ba? But it's not too late, no? Hindi pa huli ang lahat. We can start today. No, pwede natin 'yan simulan to ngayong araw na to, no? And every day when we wake up, remind ourselves and pray, no? And pray that God will use uh, that God will use us to be a blessing to others. No, maging pagpapala tayo sa ibang mga tao, no, to open our eyes to the needs of others and help us to respond to it. No ba? However small it may be. However small it may be. Tandaan natin, no, God provides for us. He God gives us no blessings upon blessings upon blessings for a purpose. It and it's not just for our own good, no, for not, not just for our own consumption, no. Binibigyan sa atin ng ating Diyos, 'di ba? Kasi gusto niyang tumulong tayo sa iba. He wants us to share it with other people. And once we share it, God provides some more. Diba? Once we empty our cups, no, tandaan natin yan. When God fills our cup, no, we empty it no, by helping others and then God will fill it again. Diba? Tandaan po natin yan. Umiikot lang yan. No? God provides and we provide for others. And then God provides again and then we provide for others. Okay? Ephesians 2.10 says, For we are God's handiwork. created in Christ Jesus to do good works which God prepared in advance for us to do. God created us no, to do good works. Diba? Mabubuting mga bagay. Diba? Mabubuting mga gawa. No? And we need to do it. No, kailangan natin itong gawin because that is part of our purpose. That is part of our existence. Okay? The second truth I want to point out here No, is this, no, yung pangalawang uh, katotohanan, no, the second truth. And the second truth is the good neighbor is the true neighbor. The good neighbor is the true neighbor. And this is in verses 33 to 35. Okay? It says there, but the Samaritan as he traveled came where the man was, no? And when he saw them, he took pity on him. He went to him and bandaged his wounds, pouring on oil and wine. And then he put the man on his donkey, brought him to an brought him to an inn and took care of him. The next day he took out two denarii and gave them to the innkeeper. And, the, and then he said, "Look after him," he said, "and when I return I will reimburse you for any extra expense that you may have." Okay. So, ito yung nangyari dun sa kwento na yon, ano? There was this Samaritan, no? Pagkatapos dumaan nung ano, pagkatapos dumaan nung Pharisee at dumaan nung Levite, no? Nakita nila itong lalaking ito, no, na who is half dead, no? And they saw him and they passed the other way. But, no, a Samaritan came, no? Uh, nadaanan niya itong lalaking ito and what did he do? He took pity on him, no? Ano yung nangyari, no? He took pity on him. He had compassion. No, in in some verses, in, in some versions, no, ang, ang ginamit the word is he had compassion on him, no? And he went to him, pinuntahan siya, no, binandage siya, no, ginamot yung kanyang mga sugat, nilagyan ng langis, nilagyan ng oil, no, and took him to an inn, no? Now, first of all, okay, first of all, let me just give you, no, uh, yung status ng relationship between Jews, no, which is the man who was robbed, no, isa siyang Hudyo, and the Samaritan, the man 
who helped the injured man no ito yung ito yung injured na na hudyo no now Jews and Samaritan no tandaan po natin no uh, gusto ko lang ipaalam sa inyo that Jews and Samaritans no during that time were not in good terms hindi po sila magkasundo no maybe we can even say that they are enemies no they are enemies meron ako nabasa na Uh, dahil daw sa, sa pagkakagalit nito, itong mga itong mga Jews, no, they they would not want anything to do with with ano, with the uh, with the Samaritans, no? They were outcast, no? Jews and uh, treat Samaritans as as outcast, no? They simply just hate each other, no? Galit sila sa isa't isa, no? They uh, Jews treat Samaritans as outcast and unclean. No, because they were a mixed race, no? Uh, hundreds of years back, no, hundreds of years back, no, during the time of I think it was during the time of the uh, during the time of the uh, yung na ano sila no na 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 natalo sila ng mga enemies nila, no, and they were exiled, no. Ito yung mga Jews na nag ano nag nag intermarry, no, dun sa mga ano, dun sa mga Gentiles. Okay? And so, ang treatment sa kanila ng mga Jew, ng mga Jews, no, dito sa mga Jews ato nag-intermarry at yung mga anak nila, 'di ba? Ang treatment sa nila sa kanila are outcast, no? Tingin nila sa kanila makasalanan itong mga taong ito, no? And they do not they would not want anything, no, to do with them, no? And no, ito rin ng mga mga Samaritans, no, pagka may mga may mga Jews na nagta-travel, no, dumadaan do sa ano, inaabangan nila 'yan. No, inaabangan nila 'tong mga 'tong mga Jews na 'to at ninaanakawa nila, no? Ah, uh, baka nga 'yung nag 'yung nagano eh, 'yung 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 robbers na nagano dito sa Jew na 'to, baka nga Samaritan din 'yung gumawa sa kanya noon, no? A- ano lang, of course, the Bible does not say that, no? Ano lang 'yan. Ah, uh, naisip ko lang 'yan, baka lang naman. Okay? So, minsan ganun 'yung ginagawa nila. That is why 'yung mga ano, 'yung mga 'yung mga Jews pag nagta-travel sila, 'di ba? Ano yung iniiwasan nila yan sa Maria? Ayaw nila dumaan sa sa Maria, no? Kasi delikado yung buhay nila doon pag dumaan sila doon. That was how no intense yung galit nila sa isa't isa, no? Uh, hindi sila talaga magka magkasundo. Yet, no, in this story, it was the Samaritan, no, that showed compassion and love for this in- injured Jew, no, this Jewish man. No, despite the animosity between these people, no, the Samaritan was able to look beyond the hate. 'Di ba? Hindi yung galit ang nararamdaman niya, hindi niya sinabi buti nga sa iyo, 'di ba? Na, na nagkaganyan ka, no? That was not that was not in his heart, 'di ba? He was looking beyond the hate, no? Uh, between them, between their races, no? And he saw the need. Nakita niya yung pangangailangan nitong taong ito. Nakita niya that this man needed care. No, that this man was half dead, lying on the ground, naked. No, and he needed help. No, yun ang nakita nitong Samaritan na to. No, his compassion was above all hate, above discrimination. No, and all the other obvious differences. No, that Samaritans and Jews have, di ba? With no second thoughts upon seeing him, he rushed to him. No, lumapit siya doon sa lalaki na 'yon. Nilinis niya, ginamitan niya ng langis. And and during that time, yung langis, yung oil, no, yung oil and yung wine, are, these are expensive items, no? These are expensive items. No, so ginamit niya 'yan and and yun yung mga baon niya no pag nagta-travel eh. No, kadalasan na baon ng mga travelers. No, may may oil sila at saka meron silang ano, meron silang oil. So, at uh, saka meron silang wine. No? So, nilinis niya yung sugat nitong nitong lalaking ito, no? Binendahan niya, no? Binendahan niya. Probably he clothed him. No? Binihisan niya itong lalaking to kasi nakahubad na siya, ninakaw yung kanyang damit, no? Put him in his donkey na dapat siya ang nakasakay doon, no? I put him in his donkey at dinala niya sa isang inn. Ang inn po, may bayad po 'yan para pong hotel. Diba parang gano'n 'yan during that time. No, dinala niya doon sa isang inn, no, may bayad, no. Of, of course, no, he brought him there, no, and he took care of him, no, inalagaan siya doon until the next day. No, the next day, probably he had to to leave already, no, meron siyang negosyo na kailangan, no, kailangan puntahan, no. Ah, uh, nag-ano siya, nag-iwan pa siya ng pera, no, nag-iwan siya. He left money with the innkeeper telling him, no, na pag hindi pa sapat itong Iniwan ko sa yung pera pagbalik ko, sabi niya doon sa sa innkeeper, no? I will ano, I will pay the rest, no? Babayaran ko sa iyo yung yung kung ano man yung kukulangin, but please do take care of him, 
no? Yun yung ano, yun yung uh, uh, yun yung billing niya, no? Yun yung billing niya dun, dun sa sa innkeeper. The Samaritan, no, did this out of compassion and love. 'Di ba? Bakit compassion and love? Because obviously, no, there were hate, there was hatred between Samaritans and Jews, no? And 'di ba? Nung time na yon, parang normal na sa kanila yon, 'di ba? Na pagka nakakita ka ng Jew na, 'di ba, ng Jew or ng Samaritan na injured, 'di ba? No, pagka nakita nila isa't isa nag na, nando sa kalagayan na yon, probably it's normal for them to just walk away, 'di ba? Gaya ng ginawa nung nung, nung priest at saka nung ano, nung nung uh, nung Levite, no? But no, no, this Samaritan took care of him, no? Inalagaan siya, no? The Samaritan did this out of compassion and love. No favors, no paybacks, 'di ba? Just the pure intention to help a person in need, no matter if they were friends or foe. 'Di ba? Hindi niya iniisip kung magkaaway sila or magkaibigan sila or kung sino mang tao ito, 'di ba? Or kung sino man siya, hindi niya kilala. No, he does not even know who this person is, no? But he helped him. Now, this Samaritan, no, this Samaritan man exhibit exhibited, no? the very essence of a man that we have read earlier no in Ephesians 2 verse 10 no yung binasa natin kanina sabi natin doon for we are no sabi nga doon sa Ephesians 2:10 for we are God's handiwork created in Christ Jesus to do good works which God prepared in advance for us to do diba? and this is exactly what the good Samaritan did no he became a good neighbor no he became a true neighbor no to this Jewish man to this injured man no because God created him no for good works and he did what he needed to do this Samaritan man is the perfect example of a good and true neighbor diba? so ito po yung katotohanan no the second truth no na, na gusto kong maintindihan nating lahat no that a good neighbor is a true neighbor diba if you go, do do good no sa, sa iyong kapwa no then no you are a true neighbor now the third truth that i want you to share with you this morning is this no love never fails diba? love never fails no in verses 36 to 37 jesus answered no ito yung sinabi ng, ng panginoong Jesus, which of these three do you think was a neighbor to the man who fell into the hands of the robbers and the expert of the law said the one who had mercy on him, 'di ba? Yung naawa sa kanya, yung tumulong sa kanya. Siya yung, no, siya yung ano, siya yung siya yung good neighbor, no? No, as mentioned earlier, despite the obvious differences that spans over hundreds of years of conflict and indifference, no, between Samaritans and Jews, the love of this Samaritan man, no, for this injured Jew, his, uh, his humanity and his compassion overflowed. No? Yung pagiging no yung pagiging human niya yung pag- pagkakaroon niya ng compassion dito sa taong ito nag-overflow sa kanyang puso and as the scripture says above all things di ba have fervent love for one another for love covers a multitude of sin that is in 1 Peter 4:8 no whatever conflict they may have surely the love of this Samaritan man covers the multitude of sins committed by their ancestors no that has accumulated through the centuries Diba? Yes, diba? meron silang pag-aawa. Yes, meron silang conflict. Yes, meron silang hindi pagkakaintindihan. Yes, gusto nilang sakta ng isa't isa. Diba? But the love of this Samaritan man, diba? the love of this Samaritan man, no? covers a multitude of sins. No? Covers a multitude of sins. Whatever conflict they may have, surely the love of this Samaritan man covers a multitude of, multitude of sins. No, committed by their ancestors that has accumulated through the centuries. When God commanded no, us to, uh, when God commanded us to love one another, He did, He did not put limits and boundaries to it. No, hindi niya nilagyan ng, ng limit no, or ng boundary yung, yung, yung love natin sa isa't isa. Hindi niya sinabi na, oh sige, pag, pero pag, ano, mahalin mo tong taong ito, pero pag inaway ka niya, di ba, pag niloko ka niya, di ba, pag dinaya ka niya, di ba, pwedeng hindi mo na siya mahalin. Diba? Okay lang na mag ka na sa kanya. Okay lang na, di ba, na mag-away na kayo. Diba? That God did not put boundaries 
no, and limits to love. He said, love others as you love yourself. Love others as you love yourself. Napakahirap, di ba, na magalit sa yung sarili. Di ba? And that is why God, Jesus said, no, God said, love others as you love yourself. Di ba? Gaya ng pagmamahal mo sa sarili mo. Meaning, God is commanding us to love unconditionally. Di ba? Walang kondisyon sa pagmamahal na iniuuto sa atin ng ating Panginoon. Jesus Himself said, Love your enemies. Di ba? Mahalin mo yung kaaway mo and do good no, to those who hate you. Di ba? Gumawa ka na mabuti doon sa mga tao na galit sa'yo. Di ba? Na nang loloko sa'yo. Di ba? Gawan mo sila na mabuti. How difficult is that to do? Di ba? Gano kahirap bagawin yon? Di ba? Surely it is easy to love somebody who loved you uh, who loved you first or who loves you back. Di ba? Ang daling mahalin ng mga tao na nagmamahal sa'yo. Di ba? Or mamahalin ka ng pabalik. Di ba? But what about the person who cheated on you? What about the person who hurt you? What about the person who stole from you? Di ba? That is difficult. Di ba? Napakahirap nun. Di ba? Sinaktan ka. Di ba? Sinuntok ka. Inaway ka. Niloko ka. Di ba? How difficult is that to love that person? But Jesus Himself showed us the way. Di ba? By dying on the cross. No? For us, who are sinners. Diba? We were like enemies. No? We were like enemies of Jesus Christ no? before He went to the cross because of our sins. Diba? But Jesus died on the cross for us anyway. Jesus showed us a way. Diba? Pinakita sa atin ng ating Panginoon. For what reason? Diba? To save us from our sins. Jesus died on the cross to save us from our sins. We sinned against God. <clears throat> we sinned against God and against each other. And yet, Jesus surrenders Himself, His life, in exchange for ours. No? To pay for the sins that He did not commit so that we can have eternal life. Diba? So that we can have eternal life. That is unconditional love. Diba? Ito po ang pag-ibig na walang kondisyon. Diba? No boundaries. No limits. No? I read a different rendition of uh, 1 Corinthians no, 13, verse 7 to 8. I read this in, in Desiring God. No? And, and yung pagkakasulat niya dito, ganito. No? No, sa verse, ano yan? Uh, 1 Corinthians 13. No? This is the love verse. No? Ito yung love chapter no? ng, ng ano. Uh, ng, ng, ng 1 Corinthians no 13 verses 7 to 8 no and it goes like this no love believes all things no but if it does not work it hopes all things and if it does not work it endures all things in short love never ends diba wala daw katapusan ng pag-ibig diba walang katapusan ng ibig ang pag-ibig. Brothers and sisters, this is the truth that I want us all to understand that we all need to know and realize. No? It, it, it is in 1 Corinthians 13 verse 8, ang sabi po doon, love never fails. It will do its work. Diba? As long as we give it, as long as we give it unconditionally, diba? love will never fail. Love will never fail fail. Tandaan po natin yan. So in conclusion, no, what did Jesus command that expert of the law no, uh, do? No, ano yung sinabi niya dun sa expert of the law? No, ano yung command na binigay ni Jesus? Sabi sa kanya, go and do likewise. Sabi niya, go and do likewise. You know, already know the law. Diba? You already know the law, but that is not enough. No, ito yung parang ito yung sinasabi ni Jesus dun sa, dun sa lawyer, di ba? You know the law. Di ba? You know how to love God. You know na, na kailangan natin mahalin ng Diyos, kailangan natin mahalin yung kapwa natin. No? But, no, ang kulang sa inyo is doing it. Niya, actually loving people unconditionally. That is why Jesus said, "Go and do likewise." No? Go and do likewise. And this too is the very command Jesus is giving us all. Go and do likewise. Do what the Samaritan man did. Love unconditionally. 
putting His love into action. Diba? That is what God is commanding us. Diba? Yan yung dapat natin ginagawa. This is the kind of people and the kind of neighbor that our world needs. Diba? Ito yung kailangan ng mundo natin ngayon. Diba? People who would give love unconditionally. Diba? Who would give love unconditionally. Yes, many may say it is difficult, no? And to some, even impossible. Diba? No? To, to love unconditionally, to love people, to love your uh, people who hate you or people or, or your enemies. But remember, no? Tandaan natin, with God, nothing is impossible. Jesus said, greater things you will do when the Holy Spirit no, comes to you. And this is not just about miracles, no? But it is also about love as well. Are you having trouble no, with your enemies? No, or loving your enemies? Are you having trouble being a good neighbor? Especially to the people who hate you. Kung nahihirapan po kayong gawin yung mga bagay na yan, then join me in prayer as we ask God to help us through the Holy Spirit. Tayo po manalangin. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus, we praise you and we thank you and we glorify you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Panginoong Jesus, maraming salamat, Lord God, for being the perfect example, Lord God, of what loving no, unconditionally means, Panginoon. Lord, maraming salamat at pinakita niyo po sa amin, itinuro niyo po sa amin, Lord God, by dying on the cross to pay for our sins, Lord God. We who committed sins against you, Lord God, we who are considered your enemies because of our sins, Lord God, you died for us, Panginoon. Lord Jesus, you died for us to pay for our sins so that we may benefit, Lord God, from this love, so that we may have eternal life, so that we may spend eternity with you. Lord God, and be spared from eternal punishment. Lord, maraming salamat, Panginoon. Lord, thank you so much, Lord God. And right now, Lord, ang panalangin namin, tulungan niyo po kami to do the same, Lord God, as you have commanded us, Lord God. Go and do likewise. Help us, Lord God, to do it, Lord God. Help us to do what this good Samaritan did, Lord God, of being a good neighbor, Lord God, of being a true neighbor, Lord God. Help us to do it, Lord God. By your Spirit, we know, Panginoon, Lord God, na kung ano man yung galit, ano man yung hate na nasa puso namin sa mga tao, Lord God, na gumawa ng hindi magaganda sa amin, Lord God, help us to forgive, Lord God. And help us, Lord God, to love them unconditionally and to help them, Lord God, when, when they need help, Panginoon. Hallelujah. Help us to help people, Lord God. Hallelujah. Lord, maraming maraming salamat. Pinupuri ka namin, pinasasalamatan ka namin, Lord. Fill us with your spirit, Lord God. Fill us with your love, Lord God. Hallelujah. And as you fill us, Lord God, help us, Lord God, that this love would overflow, that we may help people, that we may love people truly, unconditionally, Panginoon. Lord, maraming salamat, Panginoon. Pinupuri ka namin, pinasasalamatan. Sa pangalan ni Jesus, Amen. So muli, maraming salamat sa pagsama ninyo sa umagang ito and I pray no na naintindihan natin no yung yung tatlong katotohanan na ito na pinag-usapan natin. So muli, God bless you all and see you again. Magandang umaga po muli and uh, in Luke 10 verse 37 no as we have read earlier, then Jesus said, "Yes, now go and do the same." Jesus gave His most valuable possession, His life, that we may have ours. He suffered and died on the cross uh, for us, no, that we may have eternal life. Jesus demonstrated the perfect example of unconditional love, loving without boundaries and conditions, no, may be difficult but not impossible, with the help of the Holy Spirit. So this morning, as we break bread, let us remember this command. Now go and do the same. Join me as we break bread. For I received from the Lord that I also passed on to you. The Lord Jesus, on the night that he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. You may now take the bread.
In the same way, after supper, he took the cup, saying, This is the cup of the new covenant in my blood. Do this whenever you drink it in remembrance of me. You may now drink the juice. For whenever you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until He comes. Let us pray. Panginoon, maraming salamat muli, Lord, sa inyong pagpapaalala, Panginoon, sa pamamagitan, Lord God, ng communion na ito. Lord, naaalala po namin, Panginoon, Lord, ang ginawa ninyo para sa amin. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for everything, Lord God, that you have done for us. Thank you for showing us, Lord God, what unconditional love truly is. Lord, tulungan niyo po kami, Lord God, to do the same, Lord God, as you have commanded. Maraming salamat muli, Panginoon. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, Lord. At uh, sa oras pong ito, no, uh, tayo po'y magbibigay sa ating Panginoon and I would like to give you that opportunity no, to continue worshiping the Lord no, sa pamamagitan po ng ating pagbibigay. No? And Jesus said no, that when we give, it will be given back to us, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. Ibig po sabihin, ibabalik po sa atin lahat ito no, uh, ng ating Diyos ng siksik, liglig, at umaapaw. Now, you may contact your local pastors as to how you can give or you can deposit it directly to our HAF account which is shown here in the in the, in, in your screens right now. Mari din po tayong magbigay sa GCash naman na makikita nyo po dyan sa inyong mga screen. Ngayon, kung meron po kayong mga katanungan no, uh, na patungkol po sa ating pinag-usapan ngayong umagang ito at uh, kung meron kayong mga panalangin no na healing no or prayer request no please give us a comment no on this post at HF online 2021 or kung sensitibong mga bagay po ito at ayaw po ninyong no gawing public no pwede po kayong mag-send sa amin ng private message no sa pamamagitan ng messenger and we will uh, try our best no to respond to it as soon as possible so muli maraming uh, magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat Maraming salamat po and God bless you all.
promises I got Never reach I sing Hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, I Love or restraint, this is our God. Ever we trust in praise, the glory, the honor, and strength unto our God, unto our God. That's just endless. Love or restraint, this is our God. Ever we trust in hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh. God. There is no one like a God.